Hi guys, welcome back. It is craft week and we are getting ready to do another one of our crafts. Now we're going to start off with this picture behind me is a biplane. I'll get out of the way so you can see. It is a old type of airplane and it is called the biplane because it has two sets of wings. The wing up top and then the wing down here. So that is what we're going to be making today. I've got a couple examples I've already made. If you follow the instructions on the uh, sheet, it will end up like this one. Uh, just, and then I did one where I did a lot more to it. I painted it red. I added a propeller and some beads on the bottom uh, for wheels. So you can do whichever you want. So you're going to start with just a clothespin and then we're going to trace out our wings. I've got a popsicle stick, um, use a little bit bigger one, uh, use whatever size you have. Um, but using the bigger one so it's kind of easier to see what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to trace it twice. And after I trace both of those, then I'm going to just a little portion up top of one of them I'm just gonna make a straight line across which is going to be part of our tail on our plane as you can see the tail back here part of it stands up and then you've also got part that goes vertical so I'm going to draw that line on both of them and then on one of them, I'm also adding a little bit of a... So I measured off the same amount on top of both of them. And then on the other one, I added the difference of the width of the clothespin. Because that'll be the wing that is cut for down here. Now I'm just going to make it so everything is got a round edge. So it's easier for me to just cut them out and glue them on. Okay. Okay, now we're going to cut out our wings. So if you want to make it look like my other one, you could paint the clothespin before you start gluing the wings on. Because when it's like this, it's nice and easy to paint. And just, I painted all sides of it. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I think it makes it look a little neater if you... Paint it, but it's up to you. It's your your plane. I've got to put a round edge on this. All right. So then I'm cutting this little piece off for the tail. And round this one off. Now I'm going to cut the other section of wing off.
to get these cut out. Now, if you want to cut your wings out the same size, you can, but then you would just have to glue the bottom wing all the way across, where I am going to cut my bottom wing in half. So I got the one big wing. I'm going to use a glue gun because it, it, it's stronger, faster. So I'm going to put some glue right on the top. And I'm going to take my large wing and put it on there. Now I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to put a little glue on each side of the clothespin and glue each, half of the bottom wing on each side there. those on you can flip it back over and then we're going to take the the longer of the small pieces that we cut out I'm going to put a little glue right on the back of that that's part of our our tail and then I'm going to take the smaller piece that I cut out And it stands up. Let me bring it up a little bit closer so maybe it's easier to see. So see, this one is laying flat, and then this one is standing up. Now, if you wanted to make the propeller, what I did is I just took some gray foam and I traced a um, a button to give me a circle and then I cut out so you have the three different parts of a propeller and I'll show you how I did the tires I'm just gonna put two little drops of glue on the bottom side of my plane And then I just got these black beads and I'm going to set them up in there and those will look like the tires. And I'll come closer again so you can see how that is. See? Got the little tires down there. So whichever plane you decide to make, I hope you enjoy making it. Uh, it's kind of neat to make this old-fashioned type of plane. I hope you guys enjoy making this too. See you guys later. Bye.